Hello, it's Sally here. So this is a this is one I had set aside for quite a while and uh, <clears throat> just never got around to finishing it. So finally I got it out and decided uh, this would be a fun one to work on and it was. So it is called The Book of Etiquette and I decided to turn it into a journal for kind of a vintage Victorian type ladies journal. I haven't done one of those in a while and I did have a lot of fun stuff to look through. I had some interesting books that had you know old pictures and ads from the turn of the century and <clears throat> so I used quite a I kind of reproduced some of the things from that book because I didn't really want to use the originals. There were things on both sides so I used those and some original pages from the book and um, lots of coffee dyed and tea stained, uh, not coffee dyed, tea stained paper, avocado dyed, um, some of that cinnamon tea that I turned blue, turned the paper blue. I have some of that in there. That's an assortment. So the book is, uh, it's about seven and a half by four and a half, something like that. Had a pretty thick spine on it. So I decided that it was plenty big. Plus I really liked the way the spine looked. Very pretty one. And to decorate the cover, I just added an eyelet here and this little picture, which I made the, the frame out of a tag that I covered with gold uh, metallic doily and just tied it on with a piece of seam binding. And the closure is, I have to say thank you to Jessica Rapp for coming up with this idea, which is to use a long brad and put it, thread it through an eyelet, and that makes something very much like a Tim Holtz hitching post. So then it has a chain here that um, holds it together with a couple of little charms hanging off of it, um, a heart and a key. Okay, so just to open it, you just kind of push down and slide that off. And I decided to uh, keep the original inside cover. I liked the design on that. In fact, I had a couple of extra pages of that paper, which I discovered I still have this one I didn't even use. So I'll save that for something else. So I like the paper, I left that. This is where the brad uh, <clears throat> ends come through. So I just cut out a piece of this wallpaper and stuck that on there to cover it up and to secure it. And put some cloth in there for the hidden binding. So each of the signatures starts with a piece of old wallpaper. And I too, the wallpaper is kind of fragile. It has a tendency to crack and break. So I glued, I backed each of the pieces with some tissue paper to give it the extra strength that it needs. So original title page from the book, Book of Etiquette, 1921. Interesting book. Uh, times have changed a lot since 19, it was like, what, a hundred years ago? And um, just, wow, everything was like very class oriented. You know, the people who were the owners of homes and then the, there were the servants and it was, it's a book about how to treat them, but also, you know, things that you can and can't do in society. Kind of interesting. Uh, <clears throat> so this, I used some of my Seven Gypsies rub-ons I had a set of them that were very vintage looking and they were very Victorian and so I thought they were perfect for this journal. I didn't do a lot of stamping. Um, this is a page from another book which I turned into a pocket. And so I made this little tag here and it has a T tag as a handle. And some stitching and different kinds of fabric. This fabric here is the same as this fabric, which was from a curtain sample book I got. And I also used some images from an old 1920s maybe catalog. I can't remember what the year of it is. Uh, it's actually a reproduction. It was printed in 1970. So it's still pretty old, but I love the pictures of the ladies' dresses and stuff. And then I included some other pages in here. I just like the way this design looked and it sort of um, goes along with the theme of etiquette. And 
Here's a little, here's a tuck spot with a picture. Some paper I dyed with stencils. I think this was, I used beet juice on this and then some stencils that had some ink on them. Here's an uh, airmail envelope from the 50s and then this tag. This is actually a, was part of a set of place cards. They actually had some, there was a little section here where you wrote somebody's name, which I just cut that part off and I like the way this lady looks. Plus it gives this like a little handle here to slip it in here. Um, this is from a quilt design book. A cluster I made. This is some of that paper I dyed with the plum cinnamon tea, which was actually started out purple but turned the paper blue. And a curtain from the curtain book I have, which when you lift it up, there's it's a piece, a little piece of fabric, and then some writing space. Put gesso on this old page so you can write over it. And just a lace, a doily and a piece of fabric there stitched. Coffee filter that I tea stained. Actually, uh, this is a picture from another book, which I just glued on top of here. Because I like to, uh, I like the picture. And this is from that book that I have that is just full. Of, it's called uh, This Fabulous Century or something like that. But the book isn't that old, but it has a lot of neat, uh, really beautiful pictures in it, in color. So this is actually a copy from the book because I didn't want to use the original. So that's just tucked in there. It's like a journaling card. And this is from a book I have that's also um, repro has reproductions of old pictures in it. Kind of a book of poetry. And this is a, this is a no snag paper clip which I just added a little bit of fabric to. So here's a fabric belly band with a cluster on it and um, some tea stained music composition paper. And this is a page from the original book with uh, the book of etiquette on how to deal with servants. More of my uh, tea stained paper with stencils and a little bit of color. And this is spray ink. This is actually a little strip at the top or the edge of the wallpaper. This, this is a Christmas book. Um, it has these vintage pictures of Christmas scenes and this one just didn't look that Christmassy so I like the picture, like these two little kids here. And then I have to go with it, this tag. Or, yeah, I guess it's a tag. It's called Two of Us. It has a little poem on the back about twins in a fabric pocket. And I just cut out these leaves here to put on the strings. This is from the Christmas book with a uh, raggedy decoration on there to cover the top. Wallpaper stitched on. That's a rub on from Seven Gypsies. And another Snow Snag paper clip. So this is from my paper doll book. And I got these cute little paper dolls. And then over here are some little outfits I cut out for them. So they, they can go on there. They're just a little bit too tall, so I have to kind of put them in at an angle. Like that. Um, an old photo. This is not uh, a copy. It's the original. It's got actually the names of, written really lightly in pencil of, of the kids that are on here. They look like a fun bunch and just kind of weird about this one. I don't really know. 
it's, I've looked at that. I guess there's a shadow going across the face of this kid, but it's kind of weird looking. Another Seven Gypsies rub on. This is a French textbook. Had a nice picture on this side. And some more Chesso there. This is a picture from this book, which I think is adorable. A picture lesson. You're supposed to write a story about that picture. It's a children's educational book. So here's a little fabric flip up and then underneath it has this picture here. Which I stitched down. The quilt book. There's a little fab, uh, little cluster I made. A page from the Rubiot of Omer Khayyam. I just added this little picture down here at the bottom. Stitching on this page. This is avocado dyed paper with this book illustration stitched onto it. And this page has some of, of my favorite, one of my favorite doilies, old doilies that I tea stained, and I just stitched a little border of that on there. Here's the table of contents from the original book. Etiquette, etiquette abroad, tipping, travel etiquette, hotel etiquette. And there's the first signature, second signature, another piece of wallpaper with tissue paper on the back to strengthen it. This is from a sewing book. And this is one of my old vintage, vintage cards. I like this one because it's kind of like a pop-up card, so when you open it, it goes like that. The flowers kind of pop up. And just some fabric sewed on, sewed on there. A page from a baby book. It's a washi sticker. This is a, another page from a, another reproduction book I have of vintage pictures. It's actually a, I think it's a date book. Yeah, because it has these numbers on there. I cut these out of a Trader Joe's uh, advertisement that I get in the mail called The Fearless Flyer. It always has interesting vintage pictures in them, which I often have used in my journals. And another book about uh, setting the table for serving at parties and stuff. So this is for the buffet party with a table setting. And some flower arrangements. And a picture. Just um, stitch some old book page on the back. So it could be a journaling card. <clears throat> tea stained paper with some do plastic doilies. This is a vellum um, front of a card, happy birthday card. Uh, I really like the paper and the flower. And here I, I love these pages because they have these borders on them. And just to give some extra writing space because it's just text underneath. This is uh, some old book page here, a couple of pages here for writing and some leaf ribbon. And also on the back side, I've added a couple pages here too. And um, some scraps of paper with a vintage picture. Here's a page from the Wanamaker Diary, 1910. Um, a refrigerator, I'm not sure it's electric. It could be the kind you had to put ice in. Another Seven Gypsies rub on. And that's just some tissue paper collage going onto this page of uh, avocado dyed paper. Spray stencils. I, these are some little tiny collage pictures. I got, uh, I found these at, I, I guess, a yard sale or something. Anyway, there's a bunch of these little pictures, and you can just, I like them. You can, they're already printed on kind of a cream colored paper, so. I could just cut them out and use them as little embellishments. I had several sets that I got um, at that garage sale. Um, so these, uh, put some little hearts on the strings here and some postcards that, this is actually paper from the original book. So I cut the V's here and here and just turned them into 
pockets for these postcards. Tissue paper collage. Another page from the Wanna Maker's Diary. This is a book plate from uh, another old book. It actually had this little tissuey paper on top and then a quote from the book is written there and then to describe the picture, which is here. Some um, avocado dyed paper doily I glued down there and here and another place setting for a uh, dinner, I think. Another page from that date book. This is an uptuck. So here's a picture I got from that This Fabulous Century or whatever it's called. It's a great book. Um, and it, this picture came from it. So it's about this girl who dives in to save a drowning man. And um, Vintage picture there, and they go in this little uptuck. This is a um, raggedy I made, which I turned into a belly band. And inside is a, I made cards at Christmas time, and that's one of the cards with some extra writing paper in there. Another page from the baby book and the sewing encyclopedia. So here's the last one. Another piece of wallpaper with tissue paper collaged. And an old illustration from a book. Just kind of a little tab there. Tea stained paper. A picture from my fairy book. This is another book I have that has borders around it like this, which really, they are so pretty. And if you just, you know, add a piece of paper there, it makes a nice page for a journal. So, um, more prints I made from that book I was talking about. This is Winslow Soothing Syrup, Pond's Extract, and Carter's Little Nerve Pills. Uh, wedding anniversary congratulations card, or maybe it's actually a wedding congratulations. You can split them open like this, and then you have writing space on the inside, too. Um, Indian love poem. This is a picture from that book of Indian love poems with a belly band. And this is some paper. I I don't know. This it was this must have been the kind of paper it is, because it really came out... Um, so beautiful. I mean, I put some stencils and layered, you know, layered them with between the paper and um, they had stencils had a little ink on them, but it, then it's tea stained also. Anyway, that one I thought came out really pretty, which is the prettiest side. Adult coloring book page, some um, onion skin paper. This is um, napkin collage on some kind of cardstock. So I used that to make a pocket for for this tag. Another seven gypsies rub on. And this up tuck with a picture from the curtain book has a an old French postcard in it. It was really sweet. So the French postcard goes with this page from the French textbook, which this book obviously, excuse me, got a lot of use. There's lots of writing in between the lines and notes on there, and it's really grungy. That's the way it was. I really like it. But this side, I think, is even more interesting. Look at all that. So I guess they putting the translation. So I, I just added a rub on there, to kind of decorate it a little. So this is tea stained parchment paper. And this was a, a, a thing I printed from that book. 
I like the fan shape of it and I thought I'd just turn it into pockets. So on this side it has some um, beet dyed paper kind of folded up like a fan. So it would fit in that pocket. And then this one actually has this kind of a tag that's like part of a fan. So it fits, in, fits very nicely in there. There's some more of that French textbook. This is a piece of that old doily I like with a little tiny edge from the an old handkerchief that I stitched on there too. Fabric cluster, stitch down, old book page, adult coloring book. There's the rest of that hanky, or a piece of that hanky, which I just tore into pieces. I like the colors because it went well with this. There's the rest of the greeting card. Another tea stained paper with some ink and um, I think stencils. I used some stencils there. Uh, another page from the fairy book. And this is from that old catalog. I like the corset. And then this came from the catalog also. So this was the center part of this page. I just cut that part out, stitched it here and here, and then it made four little pockets for these little um, Graphics Fairy or Graphics 45, I'm not sure which, little journal cards that you get. They kind of fit nicely in here and they went with the theme. So there's those. And another beautiful greeting card. And that's the last page. So this one is for sale. Uh, we're not having our farmer's market right now, so I'm making journals and just kind of letting them stack up, which is great. I'll have lots when we reopen. But um, if someone was interested, I think this one I would sell for 125 and that would include shipping. So thanks for watching.